Hey friends, welcome back to Cards TV. I am so happy that you came by today and I'm so excited to show you this little card. I've had the best time making this and I made it with my Cricut. This is one of those lattice or trellis cards that have been all over YouTube. They are super cute. This was quick and easy made with my Cricut. Let me show you, it stands up so cute. Here's the inside where you can put your uh, sentiment. But I did it all with my Cricut and a lot of you have told me you were not able to find the daisy stickers with the ladybugs that I've been showing you from Dollar Tree. I made these with my Cricut too, guys. <laughs> I've just been having the best time. Okay, don't go anywhere, guys. We're getting ready to make this card using the Cricut, and I'm going to show you how. Okay, guys, are you ready? We're going to go ahead and make the card base first. This is a piece of white cardstock, and it's four and a quarter by eight and a half, and I'm going to score it at three inches. And this is kind of heavy, so we're going to go over it twice. And then we're going to fold on the score line. And I'm going to give this a good crease. And make sure my sides are lined up. There we go. Now to go on this, I didn't have any more of the small gingham. So I'm using some larger gingham and some more of the same green. On the inside, we have a green mat. And I've got a cheat sheet over here. Let me grab it so I can tell you the right dimensions. This is four by five and a quarter. And the gingham mat that goes on this is three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. I'll get my glue and get that adhered to the inside. And then this top flap, the green mat, grab this again is four by two and three quarters and the gingham is three and seven eighths by two and five eighths so we'll go ahead and get some glue and get this all attached to our card and we'll have our card base ready now my mat is all ready to go ahead and put our little embellishments on here. Now, I've left everything on the mat, and I'm going to turn it sideways so it'll all fit in the shot. But you can see up here, this is the fence that I cut to go on the front to make the lattice or the trellis or the fence, whatever you want to call it. And there are lots of videos on YouTube where you can learn how to make this by hand. So if you don't have a Cricut uh, Expression Explore or Maker and you want to make this card, you can just check YouTube. I think the lady that first designed this card, I think her name is B.B. Cameron. She's got lots of videos on how to make this card. So if you're going to make it by uh, cutting your strips you can check out one of her videos she does a really good job on how to make this card but this is the way I did it I wanted a quick and easy version and I do have my I have a Cricut Expression and a Cricut Explore you can use either one or a maker but you can see I've got three of the little pickets from the fence and what I did I wanted it to go on either side just to the edge of the gingham. So I cut it on either side, just the three, and then I put it on the card just by adhering those top three pickets to the edge. And I made sure that I had it lined up with the bottom of the card because I want this to be able to stand up just like that. So we're going to go ahead, take this off, and I'm going to get my little trimmer, and we're going to go ahead and get this trimmed up. 
and I just kind of eyeball it, guys. Now, here are the rest of the pieces I cut. These are the three layers of my daisy. I cut these at an inch and a half. And did I tell you I cut this at three and a quarter inches? So it would be the right height for my card. And that's from Paper Doll Dress Up. The daisies came from Walk in My Garden. I cut these at an inch and a half. This is the center for the daisy. It was very small at an inch and a half. So I've cut this out of yellow at two inches. Here are my ladybugs, which also came from Walk in My Garden. I've cut one at half an inch and one at three quarters of an inch. And then here are the back of the ladybug in the red. This is my scalloped ovals for the front and the inside. The small one I cut, let me grab my cheat sheet, and these are from Elegant Edges. I cut the small one and the shadow at two and a quarter inches, and the large one for the inside I cut at three and a quarter inches. Let's see. Oh, the leaves. The leaves came from Create a Critter. And I cut these at two inches, and I've cut five. So let's get to work on the lattice part of the front of our card. And you'll see what I mean once I get it. You see, I'm going to trim a little bit off. I probably could have gone ahead and put this together and then trimmed it. But I didn't do that. <laughs> I wanted to challenge myself even more. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and just eyeball it. First thing you want to do is make sure you've got it all the way to the bottom of the card. And then you can just move it down, kind of eyeball it. And I didn't bring my pencil, but I did put marks with my pencil so I would know where to trim. And you can see, looking right here and here, that that's just about even. Let me see if I have another pencil over here. If not, I'll go grab a pencil and mark that, and then we'll come back and get this cut and get it attached. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but I did a mark here and here, and then here and here, and I'm gonna put this in my trimmer and I'm gonna line up my marks with the blade and just trim this off. And then we'll turn it around and do the other side. And if I have any pencil marks left on here, I'll just erase them. Okay, keep your fingers crossed. This should fit just right. Line it up at the bottom first. Yep. Let me move this so you can see better. I'm gonna line it up at the bottom first, the very bottom of the card, and then line up these edges with the edge of the gingham. And then we're gonna get this glued down. I've gotta get these pencil marks off of here first. And I'll get my glue, and we'll come back, and we'll get this glued to the front of our card. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Now that I've got the pencil marks off, we're going to line it at the bottom and at the edge. And while we hold it, we're going to lay it down, and we're going to put glue right here on that card front. And keep checking. See, I moved mine off the bottom. I need to check again before I push this down. And line up your sides. And I got a little bit too much glue. Wipe that off with my finger. This is, uh, what kind of glue is this? Barely... Barely art glue, so it dries clear. So I shouldn't have a problem with that showing. Okay, since I did the middle one, 
we know it's all lined up. It's not going anywhere. We're going to lift these up and do these others. And you can see now how quick it is to make one of these little lattice or trellis cards when you use the Cricut. Let's put a little bit more. Make sure it's going to stand up. Yep. So there we have that part. Okay, let's go ahead and start working on our daisies and our ladybugs. Now, to do the daisies, let's see if I can get them up without tearing them. This is a new mat and it's pretty sticky. Here we go. I'm doing these in uh, three layers and I'm going to put some little uh, foam stickers in between to give this some dimension and uh, height for my daisy. Now after I get the three daisies off the mat, I'm going to take this Stardust Jelly Roll pen, which I got from Amazon, and it's gold in color. Let me pull this one back over here. I hope you can see this. I went around each petal to give it a little bit of glitter with that Stardust Jelly Roll pen. To save time, I went ahead around two of the daisy petals. Don't know if you can see it with that Stardust Jelly Roll pen. I've got this one on one of those little foam squares, and we're going to get this attached to this one. And I did go ahead and put my little ladybugs together. All I had to do was glue the red back onto the black body. Now, when we put this down, each layer of petals, we want to turn it so it fills in the gap. Just like that. And we've got one more to put on. I'm going to go ahead and use the Stardust Jelly Roll pen on this one just to show you how easy this is. Now, I don't want to get my head in the shot, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to do this looking over a camera. I know you've heard me say that before, but I think it's going to be okay. And we'll just go around each petal, make sure we get it covered with that gold glitter. I'll have to pick it up and see where I started so I'll know where to stop. Yep, I got them all. Can you see that? Now we're going to put a foam square on the back of this one and get it attached to the other two layers. There we go. And we want to turn it again. And sometimes you have to just keep turning it till you get it just right. I think that's pretty good. Now we're going to take this C1 Cool Gray Copic Marker and we're very lightly going to go just on that top row of petals, just a little bit up from the center, which again is hard for me to see, but I'll try to do a good job. I hope you can see it. It adds just a little bit of depth and shadow to the center. And we're going to put our little yellow center on. Oh, that's looking so cute. I actually meant to put that on a foam square as well, but that's okay. Isn't that cute, guys? Now, let's get some of this Distress Oxide. And let me find a piece of scratch paper over here. I have lots. 
there we go. Just going to get a little bit of ink on there. Dab it off because we don't want this bright yellow. We want just a little hint of yellow. Just like that. Doesn't that look good? Now we're going to take that Copic marker again and go around that little yellow center very lightly just to continue with that shadow. Very, very lightly, guys. And this will dry lighter than what it looks right now. And then we're going to take the Star Stardust Jelly Roll pen again and go around the center on the outside just to add a little gold glitter there as well. And then we're just, we're just going to come in here and do lots of little dots for the center of our daisy. And the last thing we're going to do with the daisy check these dots yeah that's pretty good I don't know if you can see those or not either is we're going to take another foam square put it on the back of our daisy and then put this on this little circle I think it's like a three-quarter inch or maybe a half inch circle And you can see all the dimension this little daisy has. Isn't that sweet? Love it. And now we can take our leaves because we have that little gap in there between the circle and the daisies. And we can start adding our leaves. And as you get them in there where you want them, just put a little drop of glue and glue them down. And I'm not going to make you watch me do that. Didn't this turn out pretty? I love it. You can see the sparkle on the daisy. Now, as you can see on the back, some of the leaves I tucked under the little circle and some I glued to the outside of the circle. And we're going to put some more foam tape on here and get that put down right there. But first, we're going to put our little ladybug on here. And I've already got her on a little foam square. And we're going to put her right about here, I think. Oh, that really sets it off. Okay, let's put a couple of foam squares on here and get this on the front of our card. Okay, guys, I've got it on the front. Didn't it turn out cute? I went ahead and added my scalloped oval to the inside where I can write my sentiment. And all we have left to do is add this oval to the front. Now, for this card, I've used uh, Happy Happy Birthday. And that is from one of my stamp sets called Potpourri. And you can find this over in my online stamp store. That's cardstvstamps.blogspot.com. There you have Happy Happy Birthday. This is just a collection of a lot of different uh, sentiments. Like here's one, Ouch, Happy Healing, Kindness Begins With Me. You shouldn't have, but I'm so glad you did. We've got a birthday, Friendship. It's just a nice all-around collection for your cards. And for the original card, I use the Cards TV Bigger Everyday Sayings. And there you see, Happy Birthday. And I just cut that in half to put it on two lines. And you can pick up either one or both of these stamp sets over at my online stamp store. That's cardstvstamps.blogspot.com. And I will get them right out to you guys. 
Now look at this little card. Oh my goodness. We're going to go ahead, glue this one down. And because my sentiment is three lines, I decided instead of using that three quarter inch ladybug, I'm going to use another half inch ladybug. So let's get this down and we'll have another little trellis or lattice card done. And I think they're so cute. And I love the daisies. I just really love the daisies. And I'm going to go through and check out all the flowers and walk in my garden. And let's put another. Where's my little foam squares? Here we go. Put another foam square on this little guy. He's so cute. But I'm going to check out some more flowers and see if we can't make some dupes of some other dimensional sticker sets that maybe we can't find in the store. Let me grab my tweezers. This is a teeny tiny, and now he's stuck to my finger. <laughs> Here we go. Let's turn him down this way. Oh, that's so cute. I love it, love it, love it. Well, like I said at the beginning, guys, I've had the best time making this card. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me make it. I don't know. I think I like this one better than this one. And they're the same except for the paper and the sentiment. I love both of them. And they will both stand up just like that for display. So you can send these out and whoever gets these can proudly display them on their mantle or their coffee table. <laughs> They're just so cute. Now guys, if you don't have a Cricut, you can get Daisy Punches from Amazon. They have lots of dies. I've checked. There are lots of Daisy dies on Amazon. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me today. As I said before, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've had even half as much fun as I've had. Then you've had a good time. I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.